All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers, step 47. So we may already be familiar with decimal or base 10 values, which go from zero to nine. Oh, I, I hope we are. <laughs> a hexadecimal or base 16 values go from zero to nine, then A to F. So basically it goes zero to nine, but instead of 10, there's A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay? Uh, or instead of zero or whatever, whatever. So there's 16 digits, basically. So with hex colors, zero, zero is 0% zero of the color, and FF is 100% of the color. So zero, zero, FF, zero, zero translates into 0% zero red, 100% green, and 0% blue. And it's the same as RGB zero, 255, and zero, because 16 times 16 is 256 and if you count the zero as a digit as well then it would be 255 256 minus one because of the zero which makes it 255 so basically basically uh if you don't get it let me try to explain one little thing so instead of having three digits and commas and all that we just replace all that with a uh what is it, with a number sign or a hashtag, whatever you want to call it, and two digits. So, you know, it's, it's a lot more efficient to type. Uh, so we're going to lower the intensity of green by setting green values, pardon me, by setting the green value of the hex color to 7F. So basically right here, we're just going to say 7 like that. It's going to look like that now. Check it. Looks great. Submit it. All right, and now we're on to step 48 in this book, uh, and we'll see you next time.